Gemini! Using my old board for a minute because I'm redecorating the other one. Management's changed up a little, so we must change with the times. How are you doing? Gemini! Welcome to your September read for this current year. This is for a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini. So check your charts if this resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just a card game. It will not work if you don't believe in it. Or maybe it will and it'll mess you up a little bit. You'd be booped on the nose if it was my other board. Because I consider that the nose. But that being the nose area, right? You guys end up wanting a personal reading. My email, Facebook, and Instagram are in the description box below. First one's free of charge. The rest after that is um comes with the price, of course. But I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Gemini, we're starting out with the three of pentacles for you in this six-way spread. Right? You're getting balanced either with work or you're perfecting your craft skills, talents, means. Because you are going to look fabulous. Ooh, look at you. That strength could be involving a Leo in your situation, but you're holding your beast back and you're looking good while doing it. It's just like feeding your self esteem. Be like, yeah, look at me. I'm fucking awesome. And my hair is like just on point today. Like, look at that. I'm wearing heels that are invisible and it makes my toes look cute. And I got two big ass kitties. And their name is Tom and Dick. And hell yeah. Dick's the one roaring in case you can't tell. Tom just has a sneering look, like, wait, peasant. <laughs> Your wants and wishes, the high priestess. Could be a Pisces, of course. Um, she's getting some downloads, getting some information. You want a little bit of wisdom on you. Hell yeah. Look at you go, Gemini. Uh, the obstacle and challenge for you is the Wheel of Fortune. Running out of time. Because that's what I just heard, running out of time. Or time's running out. Because the wheel's moving. Your fears are rejections. Prince of Wands. Leo Sag Aries. He's looking over here like, you know what, I'm not going to take any action to that. I'm just going to go masturbate on the couch or something. I don't know. Like, he's just standing still. He's not really taking any action. I only say that because, like, the Prince of Wands is usually the Knight of Wands. He's my booty card man. And it's like he don't want that booty because he's getting because she's getting because the high priestess is getting information. Like you're leveling your own self up, and this person's looking at you like I'm not even trying to go that direction. I, I don't have the energy or the passion to uh, put up with somebody like that. Like somebody who's gaining wisdom they don't want to deal with, or that's who you're rejecting. One of the two, Gemini. Like, you're getting your skill up, and while time's running out, this person just keeps hesitating and hesitating when it comes to you. Well, it's coming around full circle what started this shit and how it will end. The Seven of Cups right here. Dude's got options on what he can take in order to create. But he's got to pick something because there's only, like, one weird digitally um, animated baby. But it's like... 90s animation, like not when it was got good, where you could tell what it was. I mean, like, less than Final Fantasy 7, like, blockage, right? Beginning theme is Ace of Cups Reverse. Mind you, someone's feeling left out in the cold and are waiting. But there it seems like there's no love being offered, no apologies, no all that jazz, right? These cards always seem so relatively heavy, it's crazy. I think it's just lamination. Anyway. Yeah, I think, like, it feels like, Gemini, you're definitely feeling like your options are there, but, like, I don't see much air with you either. I mean, the energy is kind of, everything's kind of spread out. It's, like, everywhere. Especially the strength right here. It's like you're exercising where it can go. Like, it's stretching out your comfort zone until, like, you're comfortable everywhere. 
seeding everything in like growth with like what it is you're learning and getting downloads from. Um, I feel like ignoring this person since they're not doing anything really. Ew. Okay, three of pentacles, right? We got a tower moment with the four of wands and an empress. It was like, and the four of wands represents you too. So there you are, finally. Um, conception, intuition, stamina, potency. It's like this tower moment. Hmm. It's almost like you recognize like the place that you called home and what made you steady and stable is what put you in this empress position, Gemini. It's like you came to a sudden realization, you know, like the tower isn't always bad and illusion falls down, yeah. But it's like, it, it's almost like you realize you got to lounge around a lot and now it's like time to actually take some action and develop your skills and shit. Or get something done. I mean, you are do have people watching you. And it's like you've been sitting on that tree the entire time. Like, this is the life, man. Just not doing shit. You know? <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, you've been given lots of gifts and, and, and bounty in the past. You know? Lots of things have been given to you. You have a lot of cunning. You know? Lots and lots of cunning. <laughs> like, you know, foxes are to me, very notorious for their wit, their trickster, um, actions. They're not as tricksy as a, uh, coyote, but they are tricksters, you know? Lots of ingenuity and stuff. You've looked into a lot of no no knowledge and insights and stuff and have been learning to make create ju I can't talk today. Correct judgments and such? And it's take- and, and you're gonna have to go inside a little bit to, like, actually reflect on everything you've done so far. So that's what you're doing up in the tree. Okay. Strength right here. That's the situation. Holding on. Showing your that you don't need to be that kind of woman anymore. You're a better person. But if you weren't, you beat their ass. <laughs> like you're holding up that beautiful image of yourself. You know. Um, you, you could let the misery get to you. You know, and, and you could end up being way meaner than what you really are, cut through and all that stuff. But that would cause a lot of arguments, and you don't feel like being all confused and shit, right? Or at least not leaving them bamboozled and all that and such. Um, you're okay if nothing comes of it. Wait, no. Well, yeah, you are, but, like, there's still nothing coming from this, like... The situation is like you're holding up yourself to a higher regard, but that's not birthing anything into a uh, reality. <laughs> like, you know, Gemini, you're usually called the tricksters of the Zodiac, and, I, and you know, I kind of almost agree with that. Like, what, what's the point in you being the better person here? You know, that's a little bit crazy. Or um, you're trying to hold yourself into some regard despite the fact that there might be a separation here because of a third cup. You know, I, I, like, I don't like thinking of that with this a deck because it doesn't even mention that with the, these three of cups. But something could be rotting and it might be that orange that doesn't belong with the rest of the oranges. It didn't come in with the rest of the oranges. It was nowhere on the same truck nor in the same vicinity of the same country. So why is this rotten orange with the rest of our bitch ass oranges? He, this Get out, you know. Or maybe you're holding your strength after a separation of sorts, too. Could be either or, right? Hi, Priestess! What you're wanting wishing for is for the universe to bless you with some knowledge on how to get that fucking money. Hell yeah. How to get that coin. Arise. Get your wealth. Become a phoenix rising from the ashes. Um, you're the obstacle and challenge here for this queerit, though. Which I really feel like is you, Gemini, but you know. It doesn't have to be. Cross watchers, please switch where needed. You know. Same with the main sign watching as well. Don't be coming in here being like, you know. Oh, this isn't me or it's the other way. I'm just the messenger. I'm like, I'm not that psychic. I can't say what it is for all of you. 
this chill or something. Ah, okay. Maybe I shouldn't run my mouth as much. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. There might have been death involved with this Wheel of Fortune turning, possibly with a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who can see things for as they are, but they use them for, like, their own selfish gains and such. Uh, had you question in all of these choices right here, like, I wonder which cup's gonna lead me to having some clouds in front of my sun, feeling like this golden period is over with this person, right? The pureness has been tainted. But, and now what feels like a treasure to somebody is just now a trinket, if it was a home, something to do with the family, that's like a little bit over now. Well, not a little bit, but like, it, okay, that was kind of like being a little bit pregnant. That's not how it works. <laughs> but it definitely feels like whatever was um, collected and stored and um, held to some sort of high regard has now been like reduced down to nothing but like, you know, I remember when I had that and I broke it. It was so funny. Mom was so mad. She beat my ass all the way down the street. <laughs> it was one of those things where it's just like, it was a very um, nasty thing, but you do your best to laugh at it. Prince of Wands reverse. Someone is either rejecting or fearing the taking of action, possibly by a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, right? And that is because they are at a crossroads. Someone's afraid that they're not going to make it to the crossroads in time to, like, get the Wheel of Fortune turned right. Mind you, if we were talking about timelines, which I'm watching, like, this one chick, um, Psychic Sounds by B, go sub to her. She's actually pretty cool. I think you guys would really dig her. She's got a lot of Earth in her placements, too. Um, so that's interesting. But... This, uh, Knight of Wands here isn't taking any action, he isn't moving. Usually he's my booty card man. He'll get out of his bed in the dead of night for booty. But he's not going for the booty. Like, he's kind of at a crossroad with his choices. You know? Speaking of which, Seven of Cups. Three came out for this. This is what start. well, four. I'm not laying them down, though. Uh, this is how the thing started. This is how it's going to come full circle to an end, right? Five of Swords, the stress and confusion. Someone doesn't know what they're doing to birth something. The Nine of Coins says, like, there could be a family involved that's just all, like, disconnected, um, separating of some sort. Someone's losing their identity in that might, or they might be, or there's something about that identity when it comes to their family that's just been dissolved like a uh, chemistry harmony something like that it's just screwed up and shit right um someone feels like opportunities have been squandered and that's why the wheel is turning so let's see what these options are oh there is a voice in that ah. okay Ew. Nine of Cups and Eight of Cups are both reversed here. Someone left because they didn't feel anything, but that's a wish that they really didn't want. And now it's like their imagination, their abilities, their Three of Pentacles is just... Mm. Oh, this... Wow. That's how all of this started with the Three of Pentacles. Someone trying to get their skills up. But now it's like the Three of Pentacles reverse. Where they have... It's like whatever options they looked at, look at, they realize they're really not skilled at, and that's why they're taking the time to build that skill. Like, they've been sitting here this entire time trying to rejuvenate themselves, and now they're getting a chance to figure it out. But it's just like, they gotta... They feel that whammy of like, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing right here, so I have to figure it out. But it's like they're not moving because they're at a crossroads. They're not moving because they know that, like, taking that one step is just going to, uh... It might put them in a place where they feel like it's a Rubicon, you know? Ending theme is the Emperor. He is taking flight. Lord and Supremacy is taking flight, and he doesn't want that cup pouring on him. Being like, wow, I'm not getting rejected. I run away. <laughs> Mm 
Let's see. Ah, one fell out. Oh, very shy and timid, so he'll get away. Feeling like there's no more emotions there before anything else. Very scared of being hurt, I feel like. Could be an Aries or a Leo. I also want to say Libra in this as well. well let's see. Oh, okay. There's some. So, first things first. We have the Two of Cups. But we also got the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who's being selfish in a relationship. Then we got the Ten of Swords reverse, where someone feels like they're not going to be getting out of this um, whole shenanigans, or they feel like they're trapping themselves, doing it to themselves almost. And they're kind of, you know, running their mouth a little bit, or snooping for no good reason with the uh, Page of Swords reverse. She's got all these birds being little bitches and just doing her work for her. It's like, ah, acting like their mother or being the person who cares the most about them in order to get them to do her dirty work. They just report back to her. It's like someone's feeding their own paranoia just because they feel stuck. Yeah. They do think about the past very often in this situation, yes. Right before they take off with their cups full. Hmm. It's where it's odd. But there's yours, Gemini. And that's the end of your reading. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.